Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for supporting IB Knowing Tarot. And let's hop right into the message. Let's see what king or queen, element or zodiac sign does the Holy Spirit have a message for at this time? Holy Spirit, who do we have a message for today? Who is the message for at this time? Who would you like for us to get a message out for? Who are we talking to? Holy Spirit. Can I get one card, please? And thank you. One card, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Ooh. One card, Holy Spirit. That's two. We had Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Let's see if we can get one card. I think I just saw Gemini, Holy Spirit. Can we please... Please and thank you. That's too many. Mm, I just saw Aquarius. Let's see. Let's try it one more time, y'all. Let's see what comes out. One card, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Aquarius. Okay. So let's see what the message is for Aquarius at this time. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for my Aquarius Collective, please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the message? Let's see here. Messages for my Aquarius signs that are part of my collective. What is it that you would like for them to know? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Insight, clarity, guidance. The truth, Holy Spirit, what is those whispers from the universe for my Aquarius collective, please, and thank you. Let's see, y'all. Ten of Pentacles, partnership. Yo, I don't know. I don't know why the Holy Spirit, I don't know who this Aquarius is. That, this Holy, that the Holy Spirit has this message for. But we just going to keep going. But one thing I'm noticing right off the gate. Ace of Swords on the bottom. He wants somebody to get some truth and clarity. About a victory that they think they have. And how they think they're going to move forward in life. The road is not going to be as smooth as they think. With this Two of Pentacles. Because of the action that they took. To obtain some type of partnership. Some, some type of golden opportunity. There's a child here. First thing I notice on this Ten of Pentacles is the baby. Like it's a mother and daughter duo and that's the child. Like this woman, I don't know. I deleted the video off of my main page earlier because it was an Aquarius possibly. A Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Who felt like they were winning because they had gotten into some type of partnership with a masculine. That they had manipulated some things in this partnership. I do not know, y'all. I don't know, Aquarius. I don't know why the Holy Spirit is hell-bent on me putting this message out. King of Wands. They felt, they felt like this masculine was their ideal counterpart. Ace of Pentacles with the King of Wands. That's most definitely ideal counterpart energy, okay? Is this King of Wands, this... This Ten of Pentacles, I don't know <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit, because I don't know what, you know, I don't know who this is for. Page of Wands, communication, the moon in reverse. This Leo energy again, judgment. It was a Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. I don't know, Nine of Swords. That's what the Holy Spirit was saying, that this woman was going to be left alone with the responsibility of her child because of how she got with this masculine. Okay? That he was going to turn his back to her. And that's coming out again here. So I don't know. You know, Aquarius, I might do a bonus reading for y'all because this obviously is not all y'all's situation. But there is somebody who the Holy Spirit is like adamant on getting this message out to. Y'all see, I ain't coming up out with, I'm not talking about none of this. You see what's out here. You know what time it is. I read for grown folk. Okay. 
you can see that this is the message for this person for some reason and that the Holy Spirit wants them to know. Why, Holy Spirit? Why do we keep talking about this here? Three of Cups. Two of Swords. Because whoever this is, they were willing to celebrate with this King of Wands, knowing that he had another partner he was committed to. That's what came out in the other reading. They, he, they knew that this King of Wands was going to be unable to commit to them, yet they still celebrated with him anyway. The Three of Cups is falling right up under the Magician card. It's the action that they took, and they think that they're going to have a success with this person, but, you know, strength with judgment and the Nine of Swords, that say something different, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit, that you want us to know? I guess I'm going to put this out. Knight of Wands, that's also what came out, that that connection was primarily a sexually based connection. That this king of wands was going to move on to whoever else he wanted to have knight of wands energy with. He was not going to commit to this person like they expected. With this lover's card right behind that. That this person is going to be in regret. With this five of cups. I don't know. Holy Spirit. Anything else? Aquarius, I'm going to do a bonus for y'all. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Three of Pentacles. He is trying to shine a light down on what it really is for somebody. Because, baby, they got a warped perception of what it's going to be. Okay? And I'm dropping the mic on this. I'll do a bonus for my Aquarius Collective. Please stay tuned for that. And always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest but I am going to put this out because this is like going on about the third time that this has come out. And I deleted the other videos that were in relation to this because I just don't feel like being in that type of energy, you know, reading on this type of low vibrational karmic behavior. But the Holy Spirit is adamant that there that this Aquarius energy knows what the outcome is going to be for their future based on the behavior that they participated in with this man okay anything else holy spirit anything else king of pentacles knight of cups she was accepting a slick love offer from somebody who was married that's what came out in the other reading and he was getting a divorce and his wife was pissed because she wasn't getting the money that she tried to get because she had then found out that he was cheating with this Aquarius and had got her pregnant. It came out in the last reading. So I don't know, child. I do not. But I am going to release this because I ain't going to keep denying what I'm being told to do. If the Holy Spirit wanted out for somebody to know whether it's, you know, a fucked up situation or not, this is a message for somebody. Okay, but I am dropping the mic. And again, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Coming right back with the bonus for my Aquarius Collective. Peace, y'all.